Hello viewers. Welcome to the channel Amazing Civil Engineering Studies. Time to enter the world of civil engineering. Here we will learn about different concepts related to civil engineering. Please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for more new updates. In today's video we are going to discuss about Slope and Deflection of Beams Shortcut Method In engineering, deflection signifies the degree by which a structural element is dislocated under a load. It may belong to an angle or a distance. The beams utilized for framework are chosen based on the deflection, along with other factors. If a structure whether it is a beam or slab, bends from its original position because of the effect of loads acting upon it, it signifies that the beam is deflected from its original position and it is known as deflection. The slope of that deflection refers to the angle among the original position and the deflected position. The deflection of a spring beam is based on its length, its cross-sectional shape, the material, where the deflecting force is employed as well as how the beam is supported. The equations provided here are for uniform linearly elastic materials, and where the rotations of a beam are minor. We are discussing six cases, which are important. Case 1 A cantilever beam subjected to a CO-centric moment about its free end. Maximum bending moment as we know that the maximum bending moment for the cantilever beam will occur at fixed end. In this case, maximum bending moment is M itself. Because a single moment is there to keep the bending moment constant throughout the length. Now, we will calculate the slope of the beam. Slope of the fixed end is zero, and maximum at free end in case of cantilever beam. Slope is denoted by, hence, slope in this case is ML slash EI. On substituting the value of M, maximum bending moment, we get ML slash EI. Now, let us discuss about the maximum deflection of beam. Deflection will be maximum at free end in case of cantilever beam. Denoted by delta, D. To find the maximum deflection multiply slope with the factor maximum deflection, D equals times L slash 2 equals ML 2 slash 2 EI. Case 2 A cantilever beam carrying a point load about its free end. Here taking moment at fixed end, so the maximum bending moment will be WL. Slope in this case is ML slash 2 EI. On substituting the value of M, maximum bending moment, we get WL2 slash EI. To find the maximum deflection multiply slope with the factor, maximum deflection, D equals, times, 2L slash 3, equals WL3 slash 3EI. 
case 3 a cantilever beam carrying the uniformly distributed load UDL over entire length taking moment at fixed end hence maximum bending moment will be WL square by 2 slope in this case is ML slash 3 EI on substituting the value of M, maximum bending moment, we get WL3 slash 6 EI. To find the maximum deflection multiply slope with the factor, maximum deflection, D equals, times, 3L slash 4, equals WL4 slash 8 EI Case 4 a cantilever beam carrying the uniformly varying load UVL over entire length Taking moment at fixed end hence maximum bending moment will be W here one half WL is the magnitude of UVL acting at the distance of L slash 3 form the fixed end hence. Maximum bending moment equals WL square by 6. Slope in this case is ML slash 4 EI. On substituting the value of M, maximum bending moment, we get WL3 slash 24 EI. To find the maximum deflection multiply slope with the factor, maximum deflection, D equals, times, 4L slash 5, equals WL4 slash 30 EI. Case 5 A simply supported beam carrying a point load at mid span. Maximum bending moment for simply supported beam occurs at center of the beam. Taking moment at center. Hence maximum bending moment will be WL slash 4 in case of the simply supported beam the slope is maximum at its end. And 0 at the center. Slope in this case is ML slash 4 EI. On substituting the value of M, maximum bending moment, we get WL2 slash 16 EI. In case of the simply supported beam deflection will be maximum at mid span denoted by delta, D. To find the maximum deflection multiply slope with the factor, maximum deflection, D equals, times, L slash 3 equals WL 3 slash 48 EI. Case 6 A simply supported beam carrying the uniformly distributed load, UDL, over entire length. Taking moment at fixed end. Hence maximum bending moment will be WL square by 8. Slope in this case is ML slash 3 EI. On substituting the value of M, maximum bending moment, we get WL 3 slash 24 EI. To find the maximum deflection multiply slope with the factor, maximum deflection d equals times 5l slash 16 equals 5 wl 4 slash 384 ei 
Summary till now we have done so far. Thank you for watching. For now, please subscribe, like, share and do not forget to press bell icon.